Hello folks, Wrestling View here and welcome to the manual top 5 week number 11. I realise I'm getting later and later in the week each time and I'm considering moving this to every two weeks but I will talk about that after we go through all of the goals and we kick off as per usual with the results from last week. In 5th place was Minecraft Noobster for lobbing the goalkeeper from a long, long, long way out. In 4th place was Deuce Raven, his little chip through ball, chest control and volleyed finish with Fellaini. 3rd place was Miwash Torfifa heading in this absolutely insane first time cross with Andres Iniesta. A little way ahead in second place we had Psychosaurus for his first time cross and quite spectacular volley from the edge of the box and that means that the winner 77 points congratulations to iZombie Stuns using PSG plays the ball through to Zlatan Ibrahimovic treads on the ball scoop lobs it over the goalkeeper incredibly cheeky beautiful little goal and very worthy winner of the manual top five. And in fact, for the new set, we're going to go straight from one goal from my zombie stuns to another. So we kick off with a kickoff. Last week's winner has the ball straight away. Wellerton beats one player with a step over, chops away from another player. Wellerton's on the ball. He bursts in between two more players with a pace, running in on goal, clips it up in the air, and Bia Biani with a diving header into the empty net. That is how to start a game off. Super stuff once again from iZombie Stuns. Golby, Gazline, Pro Clubs, Fancy Balls LUFC has the ball a long way inside his own half and plays a quite ridiculous 70-yard pass for the wide man to run onto. That winger looks kind of familiar. He whips it in and the header is just glanced beautifully into the far corner. Manual controls FC with one of the best counter-attacks you're ever going to see. Sensational long ball, simple cross, beautiful header. Goal C comes from Axel Hoffman. He has got the ball inside his own half. Advances over the halfway line and for some reason decides to hit it and it dips all the way. From 45, 50 yards over the goalkeeper. Nestles in the bottom corner. That is quite incredible. Goal D. Deuce Raven throws the ball out from the back and he is advancing down the pitch using his ultimate team, Jack Wilshire. Taps it inside to Luis Suarez, to Sturridge, onto Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick now with the ball out wide. He's surrounded by two players. Can he make room? Yes, he can and finds Luis Suarez with the bicycle kick. Keeper, no chance. That is astonishing. Fabulous goal from Deuce Raven. Goal E comes from Liquid FIFA 86. Now, something we don't see enough of on the top five, in my opinion, is really good passing moves. And now we get two in a row. Red Bull Salzburg is his team of choice in seasons. And just look at the passing, carving his opponent to pieces. And now he's got a two-on-one. Cross comes over. Alan with the header lofts it over the goalkeeper. Beautiful little finish. Lovely team move. And as per usual, you always get bonus points on the manual top five for making your opponent rage quit. Great stuff from Liquid Fever 86. And that concludes the manual top five for this week. A recap of all of the goals you've just seen is on the screen for you now. And remember, the winner is not decided by me. The winner is decided by you. If you want to decide on the winner, what you need to do is leave a vote in the comment below the video, putting your top three choices in order please and then I will top the points up and let you know who has won in the next edition. There is a recap also on the screen of the rules required if you would like to enter for the next edition. I'm sure most of you know it all by now. There's also longer details in the description if you want to be sure about anything or you can always just ask in a comment or send me a message if you're not sure. Just a quick reminder though, please make sure you send me your goal by YouTube personal message, not by any other means. And if you have an EA replay saved, you must put it on YouTube. I will not do that for you. Now what I was going to say quickly about maybe moving this to every two weeks, number of entries has dwindled a bit recently and I think the interest in the manual top five might have been dropping. Maybe it's just been a couple of dodgy weeks. I know the break I had probably didn't help. But basically, I'm going to do it next week as normal, and I would like you to, if you can, if you're even listening as long as this, if you can leave uh, a comment, or in your comment with your vote, if you can just leave whether or not you would rather it went to two weeks or or not, because what I'd like to do is just make sure I have a lot more entries to choose from and give more pe people more time to get an entry in. And I think that might improve it and increase the quality even more. Not that it's bad at the minute, or at least I hope not. 
But uh, to have more choices to make, because I've only been getting single-figure entries in recent weeks, let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you next week. I'll be back next week as normal, and then after that we'll look at it. And in the meantime, play manual.